Okay, seems like we're live. So I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. Just waiting until a few more viewers gather up. Let me just share this. On Twitter. So how are you guys doing? Welcome back. I'm Joe, the 3D Maker Noob, and on this live stream we have a few things to talk about. Um, first of all, I have a bit more boxes to unpack. I know it sounds like I have a sickness uh, when it comes to shopping, which I probably do, um, but um, I, you know, who doesn't like to order stuff from the internet when it's available? So I just do it. Um, uh, apart from that, I also want to discuss a project, well, sort of an experiment. Um, th the same way that Angus uh, over at Maker's Muse likes to torture printers, um, I like to experiment. Um, uh, I'm currently working on a bit of an experiment of mine, which is a multi-filament single print on one extruder. Um, uh, I, I will get a bit to that later on. And we'll also be discussing um, my first milestone, which is uh, 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel and also almost on my Twitter account. Um, it, it's been three weeks since I started this channel. I had no idea it would sort of grow that relatively quickly in such a short amount of time. Uh, I was expecting to have 100 subs maybe within the first six months. I got it within the first three weeks. So thank you very much, guys. I truly appreciate the support. Um, and I, I hope I get to keep on doing what I'm doing right now and obviously improve in the near future. Um, so for the time being, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll start with uh, unboxing. It's, 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 it's important that we open boxes. Um, I, I can't stand having boxes closed. Um, so as I said last time, everything I unpack here has to do with the channel. Um, this actually, you know what it is. I, I, I know the, the small boxes. I know what they are. Um, <laughs> this is um, kind of like a GoPro, um, but it's Chinese version. It's actually very nice packing. So this is the, um, this is this Elephone? Elephone? I think it's called Elephone or EIE. Uh, Explorer Elite. It's a 4K action cam. Um, this this was actually very cheap. I got this from, I think it was Gearbest. Um, it was, I, I think it was about $40 or $50. Um, and the fact is that I'm, I'm doing, I, I have so many printers running at the same time. It's important for me to be able to take multiple time lapses to be able to record and post on YouTube. Um, so I got the next one. You can never have enough cameras. So. This is actually packed really well. I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed for a $50 camera. This is, this is quite nice. So this is the camera itself. Obviously, it's same mounting as and same enclosure as the GoPro. I'm guessing also the same size. Ooh, plastic to peel off. I love peeling off plastic. <laughs> so it also has um, uh, a back screen, uh, a touch screen at the back. Um, I think it's a touch screen actually. Even if not, it has a preview screen, um, which is also an added bonus. And it takes 4K at 24 frames per second. I know it takes um, full HD in 60 frames per second. I think it does it also at 120 frames per second, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But I will leave a link in the description. Uh, of the video once I'm done, just so you guys, if any of you are interested. And if you use that link, you'll be supporting me and this channel. So thank you very much. Let's see what else is in the box. I have to learn to open absolutely everything. So, okay, accessories to go along with it. So we have the back cover of the waterproof case. We've got some, kind of like a lanyard. 
more attachments, cable, the usual stuff. There's more uh, clips for it. This is actually nice. This, this saves me the time of actually printing one. Actually, even more so, um, I, I can actually design one based on this because this is really good. But this also has, this is nice, um, it also has kind of like a, a nut on each side so you can put it on a tripod. Absolutely brilliant. I'm very happy with that. I'll take the measurements of this to actually create one for my actual GoPro. What else? Cable ties, warranty card, some stickers. Great. That is absolutely great. Okay, box one, done. I'm gonna leave that to the side because I'm gonna be using that very soon. Cool, what else? This this is this is interesting. So this comes from the US um, and it's from Micro Swiss. I ordered the all metal hot end for the one how duplicator i3 plus. Um, uh, for the simple reason is that I have a lot of sample filaments. Um, a lot of them are exotic, um, copper fills, bronze fill, um, a lot of speciality filaments, which I'm not risking um, putting on the, uh, the duplicator i3. I'm happy to do them on the, the Prusa, um, but I'm using that for a lot of other things. So I use the uh, one how Carl <laughs> uh, for PLA, namely PETG and other easy filaments to print. So we have the YouTube block. I think this is what goes through it. And the nozzle itself. I wonder if it has. I'm quite sure this is a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle, but I have to confirm. Great. So that 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So that is something um, I'll definitely be installing, testing out, and definitely doing a review. Once again, from a noob's, a noob's perspective. <laughs> okay, now, the fun stuff. I have gone nuts with ordering sample filaments. I feel like I'm a bit of a hoarder, uh, because I, I want to have every single filament in the world. Um, this this came from 3D Filiprint in UK. Um, um, very nice guys. Um, I actually asked them to get me. I ordered three different sample boxes from their site, and I, and I asked them to make sure that none of the filaments are the same. I also had some special requests for uh, protopasta filaments, um, which I can see are here. Now. This is interesting. I have some aromatic pine from Protopasta uh, with a bit of a note. Aromatic pine, happy holidays, enjoy, Alex. Thank you very much, Alex. I have, I, I have no idea who you are, but thank you very much. <laughs> this I've been waiting for. This I've been waiting for for quite some time now. This is the, um, the glitter filament from Protopasta. Um, I, this I should be printing some snowflakes with it. Unfortunately, this is all I have, so I have to use it wisely um, until I order half a dozen spools on this. <laughs> At this rate, that's how I'm going to end up. I have some ABS Pro by Form Futura in black. More protopasta. This is HTPLA matte fiber. I have some carbon fiber PTG by 3DX Max in black, obviously. Okay, that's one bag. Bag number two. Hey, Danska, can you hear me all right? Is the mic okay? Everything fine? We have some pearl white from 3D Philippines themselves. 
Oh, bronze gold PLA. This is actually, this is quite nice. The color is really, really nice on this. Miniature figurines, this would be awesome. Flexible, Ninja Flex, Blush, and Ninja Flex, Magenta, um, uh, by Recreus, and this is by Fenner Drives. Now, unfortunately, I, with Ninja Flex, I, I can't print with the printers I have. I don't trust them. Um, uh, I don't want to get the nozzles all clogged up. Um, I've had issues with a clogged nozzle, actually two clogged nozzles on two different printers at the same time, and that wasn't fun. Um, so I spoke to the guys at uh, Flexion uh, this week. Um, going to do uh, a special episode on the Flexion uh, extruder on their new one, the uh, the HT. Um, more information on that to follow. Um, hey, Joel. Actually, what I can do is switch mics. So let me know if this helps. How's that? Better? Actually, making a bit of noise. Hey, Ryan. Awesome. So I have some Elixir PLA white from Polyalchemy. I feel like a hoarder of, of sample filaments. I have I have at least 35 different samples in a box under the desk and the three boxes that I have left are full of sample filaments. I want every single filament in the world. I, I just have to. <laughs> I have some Wood Force PLA Fiber Force. Cleaning filament. This is interesting. Um, this cleaning filament from 3D Filiprint, um, I'm assuming it's it, it actually serves a very good purpose when I, I, I could have, I, you know what, if I opened this box two days ago when it got here, this would have come in very useful with my clogged filaments. This, this is, this is great. I'll be using that. I'm going to leave that there. So, packet number three. More Filoflex, this is really flexible. Uh, gold by Recreus. I'm ho I, I hope I'm saying the name right. Um, PLA, PHA by Colorfab. We have some yellow gold 3D filler print. Glow Blue ABS by Rip Wrapper. Glow Blue. Fun. <laughs> PET Plus Clear. Oh man, clear. I'm having issues with clear. Actually, I'm not having issues with clear. I'm having issues with Carl over here, my duplicator. I'm trying to, uh, I've tried to print Kirby um, on glass filament. And about one centimeter of the build plate, I, I seem to have um, a layer detachment, but just on that line. It doesn't happen anywhere else, just on that line. So I'm wondering if it's possibly the nozzle or I just have to dial in the settings. Um, but I'll figure that out. 3D filler print, um, ripe orange, blue green to yellow green. I'm guessing this is either heat sensitive or UV sensitive. If so, exciting. I can't wait to try these out. Actually, I'm sure my daughter is going to love trying these out. And we have some awesome stickers. Joel, need one of your stickers. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me where you get them made so I can make my own sticker and I can send you a sticker. Okay. This is like retail therapy. I feel I feel I feel good when I open the mail. It de-stresses me. So that's from 3D Fill Print. Now I have I was suggested um, on on one of the comments of uh, YouTube. I was suggested to check out a company in UK called 3D Filiprint, and their customer support is absolutely awesome. Um, I, I placed the order, um, but about 15 minutes after I placed the order, one of their representative, uh, representatives, I'm guessing, um, contacted me to tell me that 
the uh, the shipping method that I ordered um, um, would have resulted in me not getting these in time for Christmas. So they very kindly offered to upgrade this for uh, through courier, and it got here within 24 hours. So thank you very very much. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm stoked. It's called Faber Dashery. Um, and I actually did order from them uh, UV sensitive filaments. Um, oh <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be needing really big spools for these. <laughs> okay. Something I like about this company. Okay, this is... It's going to be a hassle to spool these, but I'll, I'll figure out a way. You can buy filaments by the meter. You don't have to buy a whole spool. You can actually tell... Them, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, you can actually tell them how many meters you want. So if you want samples of a filament, you don't actually have to order just a sample which brings five meters because you can't really test five meters on multiple um, items. So you can maybe order 10 or 20 meters and it wouldn't cost you that much. And I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea. If it was full better, that'd be great. But I'm happy nonetheless. So this is sugar plum. Yeah, this is a sample. This is a pack they had. Um, it's a crystal color pack. Uh, they give you, I think it's about 10 meters of each of their crystal pack and those are some really nice colors I can already I know what I'm gonna do with these I already know what I'm gonna do with these I really as well, yes color print Prusa this is gonna happen I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make me an awesome big vase in multicolors Hey Jim, <laughs> what else? We have, this is Punk Star Pink. Now, I got these two for a reason. My daughter wants me to print her My Little Ponies and there's some pinky pink pony, um, which is in two different kinds of pink, well, purple and pink. So this is why I have all these. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be printing one for her and the rest of the school friends. So, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I actually have a nice, nice little project um, I'm working on on the side as well for Heather. Um, but um, cannot say anything. That will be a surprise. Um, more samples. I, I don't remember ordering these, but these are really nice. They have a very nice pearl sheen to them. At least these three. This is transparent. Man, I I should really stop. By. Yeah, we're back. Thanks for dropping by, Joel. Sorry, OBS. It's it's the one thing I've been dreading about live streams: OBS and crashes. Um, okay, this is... Oh. <laughs> I, I really need to find a way to spool these. This will be fun. So... And now... Another box of samples. <laughs> I went nuts at Color Fab. I just heard something move in there. <laughs> I hope it's nothing serious. Um, I, I, I think I've ordered pretty much every single kind of filament they had. There's about 18 samples in here. I'm loving their filaments. Absolutely loving them. One. Two. Okay, I actually had to bring my own uh, garbage bin here. Um, 
my wife wasn't very happy with me <laughs> throwing plastic and cardboard around. <laughs> so, fun times. We have, these are PLA, PHA. There's like bluish gray, translucent orange, and white. Yeah, Ryan, go finish that printer and show us what you can do. <laughs> Some engine flex, more engine in silver, pink, and white. I'm going to stop doing live streams of unboxing samples. <laughs> PLA PHA. These are really nice colors. Um, there's this, this looks like a bluish white. I think this is the bluish white. Um, there's like purple, green, and grayish blue. Color Fab HT. Um, there's gray, white, and transparent, which I'm guessing is glass. Specials. I actually, it's 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 a shame I don't have the name, uh, but I can find on the uh, in the invoice, which I know one of these is copper, and I think the other one is brass. That's where the all metal hot end will come in. If I have to break a printer, I'd rather break car than uh, Tigger over here. <laughs> and some color fab HT. One in green, one in black. Hey, I opened everything. Awesome. <laughs> now, having put that out of the way, what I want to talk about next is my experiment. Um, uh, as I said before, I I love uh, fiddler, fiddling around with things. I want to experiment. And the one thing I started, obviously, as soon as I got a bit of um, uh, a grasp on, on the color print of the Prusa, I decided to try it out. So I used, this is, if I'm not wrong, this is color fab white and pink. I can actually, maybe I can show you there. It came out very, very nice. So then I thought to myself, okay, if, if you can print, it's not a problem to, to print the same material from the same company. It's, it's a given, it's fine. Everything is the same, but what if, you could use the same settings, not necessarily the same material, but if a filament has the same kind of properties, um, then it shouldn't strictly be a problem. As long as the retraction is the same, uh, the, the speed it's printed on is the same, then it's fine, it's, it's a given, it's fine. So I tried that out and I used, sorry, I did this, um, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, oh God, Filamentum, Filamentum Iceland Blue. I absolutely, absolutely love this filament. And some uh, Rigid Ink Normal PLA Blue. Now their thresholds for printing are pretty much spot on, on par. Strictly speaking, they're both PLA. Um, and it printed out fine. So I was very happy with that. Just to point out, just before I did this, uh, I had printed out a maker coin in Woodfill without knowing absolutely, absolutely nothing <laughs> about how to print on wood, with wood. Um, so I kind of messed up my nozzle. I hadn't realized then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which is why my uh, certain lines didn't, didn't extrude properly or anything. I thought it was my settings. I kept on trying, but then I kind of found a middle ground and I thought, okay, we need to take this to the next level. So <clears throat> I spoke to Lauren uh, from a buzz design. I asked to use her uh, design for the Christmas tags. And I wanted to do something a bit special. This is made with PLA, and PETG. This is not stuck together by glue. I actually have a time lapse of this. Um, I'll, I'll post it up. This is a single print. 
Um, it's it was a very laborious task to actually print this because speed and retraction of PLA and PET uh, PETG um, work pretty much the same for me. These are both rigid ink products. <clears throat> it's just the temperature changes um, that, that vary quite a lot. So I thought to myself, if I know which layer I'm going to do the color change um, on the Prusa, I can sort of stay with the printer. As soon as I see that it's about to finish the layer, I'll go on live tuning, increase the temperature, by the time it gets to the corner to sort of change the filament, the um, the temperature would already be enough high enough for the PETG, and that's what I did. It printed the PEG, printed it flawlessly. As soon as it was about to change to PLA again, I reduced it down again on live tune. It went down, it printed, and it turned out epic. Here, let me show you. Now. The, the missed lines, there, there are some missed lines on, on the top there. That's because the nozzle was uh, messed up because of the, um, my wood print. <laughs> but that was, that's absolutely epic. I'm, I'm very, very, very happy with that. And I will take this to the next step. Hey, Lauren, I was about talking to you. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, that is that is something I'm going to be working more uh, on um, because I think there is quite a bit of potential there. Obviously, only on single layer prints. Uh, the multicolor print that Prusa will bring out that will only work with same properties. It could be completely different filament as long as it has the complete same properties across the board. Um, uh, so yeah, this this is something I'm very excited about because it's it, it takes it to the next level for me. And it's something I really love doing. So that's that. Um, next up, we are almost, at least I'm almost at 100 subs, um, which is something I'm absolutely grateful for. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's 95 at the moment. <coughs> Let me take some water, excuse me, because I'm... Dry throat. Um, and uh, I didn't think I would arrive to this point um, within three, three and a half weeks um, uh, of, of starting this channel. I thought it would take me much longer than that. But the community, the 3D printing community is absolutely awesome here. It's, it's absolutely great. And I've made some really good friends already i've made i'm quite sure i've made lifelong friends um within the first few days um is just something you you know so i thought to myself i want to celebrate um so i'm going to do a bit of a giveaway i have printed that awesome kirby <coughs> this is printed in filamentive um, um dark natural wood this is probably the best print i've done so far on any of my printers um it is almost perfect almost almost perfect perfect um and it turned out so beautiful i thought to myself uh, i'll give this away um it, it took about 16 hours to print because i wanted as much detail as possible i wanted as much info i wanted to be a bit you know heavy and solid so I'll be giving this away and I will also print two more um, um, in different types of, of wood uh, filament. I have, I have timber fill rosewood from filamentum and timber fill champagne from filamentum as well. I will try those. I also have a light wood. Um, I think it's from, uh... oh God. I have some bamboo fill, wood fill, bronze fill, cork fill. <laughs> I have all the fills. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll print three of these, two more. And I, as soon as the the counter, hey, unlikely creators, hey, 3D printing science, Ron, 
Sorry, I'm I'm talking away here. I'm not. I've I've completely missed the chat. So I'm going to print two more of these, and as soon as the subscriber list hits a hundred, I'm going to find a way to sort of extract my subscribers. Um, uh, uh, enter into enter them into some random generated online software. I'm sure there is, and I'm going to pick out three random subscribers and. I'll send this to you guys. It's it might not be much, um, but this is something I'm very proud of. This is this is my first. This is my first absolutely epic print, and I'm gonna give it away. I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna give it to you guys. It's <clears throat> it's the least I can do for all the support that I'm getting on this channel, whether it's from the community, whether it's from my subscribers. I, I absolutely love it and it's sort of my way of giving back uh, to the community. I'll, I'll be doing these giveaways at sort of segments and subscribers so this this is something small for 100. If we ever get to 500 we'll do something a bit bigger, 1000 will be bigger. Um, I have plans going forward but in my mind the more subscribers the bigger the prize um, and we will get we will get to a nice big chunky prize which will print one of these <laughs> eventually, slowly but surely. I'll be shipping worldwide. I don't care where you live. Um, and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I live in Malta and it is a hassle for someone to send something to Malta. It, it's expensive and they always find excuses. So I, I don't want to be like that. Um, so I'll be I'll be happy to ship it anywhere in the world. Um, and just to give you an idea how easy it is for me, I have a sister who lives in New York. I have a, a sister who lives in Bali in Indonesia. My mother and my brother live in Australia. So strictly speaking, I still have to send something somewhere around the world at some point. So might as well be you guys as well. Um, Yes, it is from the Mark II. This actually, I I pretty much didn't touch anything on the Prusa Slicer Edition. There actually is a preset configuration um, for filamentum, um, a filamented, filamentive, damn, filamentive. I get them confused for the filamentive uh, wood PLA. There's actually a preset, um, so it's just there. It's you, you just choose it. You might tweak a few things, but other than that, it's perfect. Um, uh, and that's printed at 0.2 millimeters. So it's it's not really that fine, um, considering in terms of detail. It's a standard printing uh, height, but it turned out absolutely great. And as Ryan told me, uh, I was itching to sand it down and make it polish it, make it beautiful. But I'm going to leave it as is. I'll send it out as is. And whoever receives it um, will get the joy of actually um, caring for a 3D print because I've realized that it's not just about printing something and that's it. Uh, there is a whole other process after that. It's the cleaning it up. The What do you want to do with it? Do you want to polish it a bit? Do you want to paint it? There is so much you can do. So, yeah. I actually, uh, so I've been asked very cool, how do you like the Prusa edition of Slicer? I actually, I actually love it. Um, to be completely honest, before I got the Prusa, um, I had already purchased a copy of uh, Simplify 3D. Um, for the one how duplicator, I only use Simplify 3D. Um, I think it's, it's the best one for it. I have yet to feel comfortable enough um, to use uh, the Simplify 3D on the Prusa, simply because I know there was a lot of work done to Slicer for Prusa, um, uh, so I trust that they know what they're doing. And also, after seeing um, uh, Angus's review on Maker Muse, um, he did mention that he had some issues with, Sli uh, with Simplify 3D, but those were solved by using the Prusa edition of Slicer. So I trust his judgment. I'm the noob. He's the expert, so I'm not going to argue with that. Um, but yeah, Simplify 3D, it's possibly because I got used to it now. I, I really like it. It's very intuitive. Um, I know where the settings are. 
um, even though every time I do a new print, I keep forgetting to uh, adjust the speed. <laughs> it's always there. <laughs> um, um, but other than that, um, Slicer, it, it bugs me a bit sometimes because it's not that intuitive. Um, there's two different places if you want to, you know, change orientation of an object. It's the way the settings are, you have a printer setting, then you have a whole list of settings for that, then you have a filament settings, and then you have, uh, oh god, something else settings. I, I don't know, it's just, um, I still don't know the full potential of Slicer. Um, I, I'm sure it is much better than I see it as being, um, but that's because I, I don't have enough experience with it yet. With Simplify 3D, as I said, I use it quite a lot now, so I'm feeling much more comfortable with it. I I was born in Malta, raised in Malta, lived my life in Malta. Um, I, I only been away for about a year, um, about 10 years ago. I went to Australia. Um, um, as a profession, <laughs> I'm a noob. <laughs> Um, no, as, um, as a profession, I work for an online company. I am a head of, uh, a head of department. I have about 50 people, 50 employees working under, under my wing and we take care of online fraudsters, um, um, and also payments and to a lot of people is boring stuff. I absolutely love it. It's, it, 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 it gives me a kick when I catch fraudsters and send them to jail. So. I have high expectations for you when you unleash the S3D on the Mark II. Um, yeah, yeah. I honestly speaking, I'm loving this. I'm loving the experiments. So I know that there are so many things that I want to do. I have so many ideas in mind. I love painting. I like. Um, I, I do airbrushing. Um, I, I'm a bit of an artist. I've had a couple of uh, sort of exhibitions when I was a kid. Um, so I'm definitely going to bring that into the 3D printing world. Um, at some point, I want to paint with a 3D printer, if that makes sense. In my mind, it does, but that that's a long way away. Bye bye, Heather. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, yes, Star Wars Rogue One. Oh, my God, I should be ashamed of myself. I, I completely forgot that it's out. I have to go watch it this weekend. Yay. <laughs> I stopped using Slicer when my prints were failing with many, many hours of testing. Simplified 3D out of the box, gray prints. I agree. Um, um, I completely agree. Simplified 3D just seems much more intuitive. It's just easier. And with Slicer, there are so many things you need to be careful of. At least that how I feel that I just don't fully trust it yet. I trust it with the Prusa Mark II, but not with the rest. Do you have any images of the airbrush art? Um, I actually, I, if you give me a second, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Give me a second without showing you too many details. Um, the only sample of art I can show you is what I can do. Um, I, I love to build these model cars, airplanes, um, but for me the fun is not just building them, it's finishing them, making them as realistic as possible. Um, so I have, I did a project um, of a Jeep um, and let me see if I can And the whole purpose of this project was to make the car look as real as possible in terms of how old it is, with a bit of rust here and there. Go away. Hold on a second. Okay, let's try. Let me see if I can do this. There it is. 
<laughs> no, that was me trying to um, to show a bit of rust coming out of the Jeep. You know, it it went much further in than that um, because let me show you how that turned out because then I kind of took it a step further and actually got uh, sort of realistic mud and a bit of fake grass. I wanted it to look as natural as possible. So change that. And that's the end result. Oh, sorry. That was the end result. I'm trying to find my feed. There. Okay. That. Wait. Where's the other one gone? That one. <laughs> that is. That. That was the end of the project. Um. And that is something I want to do for for three D printing as well. I'm I'm still starting. I'm still learning, um, but I will get there soon enough. I am the kind of person that dives in head first. I spend at least eight hours a day in the sofas testing out prints every single second I have. As soon as my my daughter and my wife go to bed, I'm in here tinkering, testing because that is. Uh, that is the best way to learn something. You you put your head into it and and you just do your best at it. And and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving everything about three D printing. Um, I'm loving the community, the prints, the the material. Oh, the material! So many materials to try. Right? <laughs> I have more materials than I could possibly ever try. Um. But yeah. No, no, that's uh, it's not my Mustang, Danska. <laughs> I don't have a Mustang yet. Um, I will. Uh, I will. Sometimes I feel guilty. Yes, which is why I had to sort of change the routine. Um, I try to be in this office doing my thing here, either when my wife is not here um or when she's asleep i i don't want this to affect my my daily life my family life i have a good job which um which pays well and supports me and my family um supposed supports most of what i do here and this channel um and um how many subscribers do i have now i have no idea let me check let me just refresh Come on. Oh man, it's getting stuck to refresh. Let me just refresh. 99 subscribers right now. One more, we'll get there. I'm sure we'll get there. So yeah, um, so I shifted my times on to when I work here. I have a very supportive wife. Um, I have a very enthusiastic daughter about all this. So even if I had to spend all day here, it's not a problem. I just feel guilty. At this time, I'm robbing them from family time. So I have to do this responsibly. Um, uh, so yeah, um, uh, I, uh, that's pretty much uh, how um, how I handle this. I, if I have the time, if it's not interfering with anything else, then I have to do this. The, uh, the channel, unfortunately, Malta monetization is not allowed. Um, so it's I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not doing this to to make money out of this. I'm doing this because it's absolutely awesome. And if whatever I learn and I can teach, if I help one two people, then it's fine. I'm, I've done my I've done my work. So anything? Oh, sorry, I left. I actually left that there. Oops. I switch that. Nope. That's not the one I want to switch off. This is the one I want to switch off. Perfect. And here I was looking at the camera all the time <laughs> while that was on the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Right, so yeah, so next for me is. So, it's getting like here. I'm 
I'm glad I've ended up here. I'm going to use sub and I follow your content. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, 3D Printing Science. Really appreciate. I, I really appreciate your support. Um, so yeah, next in line for me is um, I definitely have to do a bit of a review on the Wenhao Duplicate or i3 Plus. Um, once I do that review, then I have to install the micro swiss all metal hot end and start printing a hell of a lot of uh, <laughs> exotic materials um then within uh, I, in a few days i'm going to receive the um the new flexion extruder the ht um and i'm very 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 excited about that because i have a lot of flexible filaments which i want to try and this is their new model um uh, which which just came out the ht which I was absolutely um, happy to review, um, so I'll, I'll definitely, definitely keep a lookout. Um, we'll, I'll, I probably have some offers for for the flexing extruder, so get a bit of a deal for for my subs here. Um, right. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you've enjoyed this live stream. Click on the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dogs. Actually, I might have pets watching me because my, my YouTube analytics say that 93% are male, 6.4% um, are female, which makes 0.6% pets. <laughs> so, woof and meow. <laughs> <coughs> Do you experience under extrusion with the one how after retraction sometimes? Uh, yes, it happened to me. Um, that's because the nozzle got clogged. Um, I did that. I'm trying to remember what material I used. I had, I did too much retra retraction. I did about, I think it was, I think it was around four millimeters retraction by mistake. I wanted to do two. And it just it just backed up and, and it, prints were failing left, right, and center. Um, so uh, so yeah, it does happen. I am actually a sub to Maker Box. I also am. Um, <laughs> let me check my subscriber count quickly. I am a sub to Maker Box. I am a sub to Three D uh, Geek Box. Um, I am a sub to Rigid Ink Club. Um, Yay, 101 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, epic, absolutely epic. So what I'll do is um, I'll find a way to get the list of all the subs that I have. Um, uh, and by tomorrow, I will, uh, I will tweet out. And also, I'll do sort of like a very short video of me putting the names on a random number generator and bringing up the names um, on camera. Um, I, I, I don't want people to think that I have to choose the people um, I'm actually giving out prizes to. So I want to be very transparent on that. Um, I'm, I'm so stoked. Thank you very much, guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. Cannot thank you enough. Um, so yeah, unfortunately with uh, with uh, MakerBox, with uh, um, uh, 3D Geek Box, those will take quite some time to arrive because they have to come from America. Direct shipping to Malta is stupid expensive. It costs about $60 to send a maker box over, which is ridiculous. Um, so I have a forwarding address um, in America, uh, which is much cheaper for me. It just takes about two to three weeks to get here. Um, uh, so uh so yeah and my reviews of filaments will come much later than anyone else would um next in line for me um next in line for me is to actually create rather than a torture test um i want to create sort of a couple of towers to test um filaments um at different temperatures so i want the filament to reach a certain height i'll change the temperature go it up five degrees then another five degrees just to see the layer adhesion and the quality at different temperatures i know there are towers for that in thingiverse i found one 
but I want to sort of manipulate it a bit to have two next to each other so I can also see stringing and retraction in between. Um, it's Kirby Dansk. I'm giving away Kirby. I'm giving away three Kirbys. Um, same size. <laughs> Um, exotic materials, well, wood materials, because I think it looks absolutely insane. I, it looks absolutely awesome in, in wood felt. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, that is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for coming. It's it's two o'clock in the morning here. Um, last night I spent, I, I slept for about three hours um, because I wanted to test a few things in here and I was cleaning out the nozzles and all there. Um, so I'm, I'm way overdue for at least 12 hours of sleep now, <laughs> uh, but thank you very much for coming in. Um, thank you very much for the interaction. Thank you for the subs, leave a like, comment, ask any questions you have. Look for me on Twitter. Um, I'm very active on Twitter. Um, probably a bit too active on Twitter. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah. Thank you very much for everything, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, and in the meantime, happy making. See you guys.